The kit is composed of one infusion set with lure lock connection, inline drip chamber, roller clamp, pinch clamp, three-way stopcock with five micron filter, and needle-free system. Another pinch clamp and another lure lock connection for needle connection. One vented vial access device for needle-free drug transfer, diameter 13 or 20 millimeter. One syringe, available 1 mil, 3 mil, 10 mil or 20 mil with sealed closed male lure. One biohazard waste disposal bag. In adequate safety environmental conditions, wear the individual protection devices and proceed with the preparation of the anti-neoplastic drug. Attach the chosen vial access device to the vial with spike centered to the rubber stopper until the retention tabs snap on the vial. It is advisable prior to every access to swab the top of the needle-free valve with 70% isopropyl alcohol and allow it to dry in order to maintain sterility. The device allows more than one access to the drug, so given the possibility of reusing any preparation residues. Choose the right size of syringe, which is already sealed to the safety closed male lure. Connect the syringe to the vial access device. Their combined use constitutes a closed system that prevents contamination and leakage of any solution being handled. Turn the vial upside down in order to withdraw safely the desired drug volume. It is advisable to hold the syringe from the lure for safety and stability reasons. Before disconnecting the syringe, bring the vial to the upright position. Once the drug is collected, the closed male lure stops any aerosol formation, thus reducing contamination risks. It is possible to insert the syringe into the bag before transferring to the administration room. It is advisable to perform all of these procedures in a dedicated room under the hood. All of the devices necessary for the chemotherapy infusion have to be assembled and ready to use before starting the administration. Attach the vial access device, purchased separately, to the saline solution. Connect TEC721 infusion set to the saline and do the priming to remove air in line deriving from sterilization. The drugs have to be administered through an infusion set and a venous catheter. This has to be placed in vein at the first attempt and attached with some fixing band. Otherwise, the following attempts have to be made on other veins. After having placed the venous catheter into a peripheral vein, connect it to the system through the lure lock connection. Connect the filled syringe to the needle-free valve above the three-way stopcock in the infusion set for administration. Rotate the handle on different positions to administer saline solution, antoneoplastic drug, or both. It is advisable to verify frequently the flashback of blood at the catheter. Position the handle upright and gently aspirate with the syringe. Once the drug administration is finished, flush the line with saline to ensure all the drug is delivered fully. Close the security clamp and remove the needle from the patient. Disconnect the infusion set from the saline and insert all the single-use kit into the waste disposal bag. The saline can be used for other administrations with the same vial access device. Once the treatment is complete, all of the gloves, the infusion sets, the masks, the protective aprons have to be disposed in specific chemotherapy waste containers.